It's Monday, May 20th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Concerns continue about the safety of water coming from the Birmingham Waterworks. Customers, mainly from South Birmingham and over the mountain communities, began posting on social media over the weekend about the smell and taste of tap water. Some customers posted they were switching to bottled water. But the Waterworks responded, also on social media, saying their water is safe to consume. The Post went on to say the utility is, quote, sampling in accordance with our protocols and will continue to monitor the situation closely. Attempts to reach a Waterworks spokesperson for updates on the issue were not immediately successful. The latest concerns follow a water main break last week and a temporary boil water notice for the Waterworks western coverage area. An effort to promote Medicaid expansion in Alabama continues to face opposition from the governor. Cover Alabama, a group of about 80 medical and activist organizations, delivered a letter last week urging Governor Kay Ivey to expand the state's Medicaid program. The group called for assistance for the nearly 300,000 Alabamians who do not have reliable access to health care. The Alabama Daily News reports Ivy's office cites what they believe to be the long-term cost of expansion as a major concern. However, the letter from Cover Alabama states federal law would allow Alabama to access an estimated $620 million in additional federal funds to help cover those costs. Alabama remains one of 10 states that has not expanded its Medicaid program. And almost 10 percent of Alabama third graders could be held back a year because they're not reading well enough. According to preliminary data released by state education officials Friday, just under 5,000 students scored below grade level in tests this spring. Those students will have opportunities through summer reading camps and other measures to improve their scores so they can continue on to the fourth grade. This year's test scores are an improvement from last year when almost double the number of third graders read below grade level. AL.com reports State Superintendent Eric Mackey says that many of those students with reading issues were hurt by measures put in place to deal with the COVID pandemic. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org. You can also hear local newscasts during WBHM's broadcast of Morning Edition and the afternoon's All Things Considered. That's each weekday on 90.3 WBHM Birmingham.